Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Today we're going to look at world champion, 2023 world champion, Inal Tasoev from Russia. Incredible judoka. Been following him for a really long time. And he has huge throws at heavyweight. So lots of epons from him. He's a bit of a slick heavyweight. Lots of ashiwaza, but also has some big throws like this one, of course. But before we get into his throws, I just want to look at this amazing achievement. I'm not sure of anyone else who has done such a thing. So in 2019 at the All Soccer Grand Slam, Tasuev, he took out three Japanese in a row. The first against Kageura with a huge surigoshi, and this was before the head diving rule. So definitely a legit wazari for the time. In the next round, he ended up meeting Kagawa, and just gets a lovely wazari here, and then straight into the hold down. And as I said at the beginning of the video, Tasuev, bit of an ashiwaza specialist, and you can see it here with the counter just tripping Kagawa as he returns from that Horaigoshi attempt and then straight into the Kesagatame really good stuff and even in the next round another Japanese this time Ulta so it's pretty incredible gets a Wazari score here but I mean a lot of the times in these contests even if the Japanese lose one that next person coming out I mean most of these Grand Slams that are held in Japan, it's just completely dominated by Japan because they have several competitors in each weight class. But this time Tasuev managed to take out three of them. Incredible achievement. So we'll take a look at his Ashiwaza now before we get into some of his big throws and some of his Newaza highlights. But this one here, just a classic Sasai. And he just executes it so perfectly, makes it look easy. Here's another variation of it where he kind of stabs the, the left the left leg through, looking for kind of like an Ochigari fake. Here's another version. And then good control into the hold down. Although he got an Epon for the score, didn't really need the hold down, but look at this. And wrapping that arm up under the armpit. Really good way to do it. Here it is again, a little bit faster this time. But you can just see his left leg on the entry just gets his opponent moving. Blue. I mean, he just had his feet in the air as Tasuev came across with the foot sweep. And he has a lot of epons with Ashiwaza. These sorts of throws are definitely his main scoring option. This one here, I mean, heavyweights don't do this. Heavyweights do not have this kind of slick Ashiwaza. I mean, Saito, he is the complete opposite of this. Absolutely no Ashiwaza. And that will be a really exciting matchup. Saito versus Tasuev. Really want to see that one. More Ashiwaza for you guys. Left us right here. A little bit of a, a fake. And then on the return, gets the counter. Just look at that. The lift as well. I would love to know how he trains this sort of stuff. Must be just lots of lots of randori. Just getting a good feel for it. And of course, he is extremely strong. This here, he does this a lot, it's an ochigari, but it's kind of a counter. He does it when people kind of go for a koso dogake, he just rotates, turns the other direction, and goes for a beautiful ochigari. Here's the same one against Kropalik. People, people just want to throw that koso to over the top like that, but he's got a low center of gravity, he's got the underhook, and of course he's got the power to execute this kind of throw. There's another Ochi counter. Watch how he elongates his opponent, pulling the sleeve really far away from them. And then taking their leg in the complete opposite direction. It is a thing of beauty. And power meets technique, I mean, sometimes it's unstoppable. This one here, a Yoko Otoshi. Great control. And this is against Yusupov. So, I mean, Tasuev, he's been on the international scene a bit. He really loses. Really, really loses. And I think just kind of people stopped thinking about him a little bit. There was kind of Bashayev who went to the Olympics. And, and he's had his own kinds of success as well, obviously beating Teddy Renier at the Olympics. But Tasuev, I mean, he's always been here. Really loses, as I said. And it's just that kind of period where we had COVID in the Olympics where he just disappeared from the scene. But now, world champion, he is a hard, 
hard person to stop. In fact, I'm just looking at his record now, but I mean, Teddy Rainier, a couple of losses to him, a couple of losses to the big Japanese guys, Kakeura and Harasawa. Two losses to Harasawa, and also one loss to Bashayev, but still, he's only, he's only losing to the, the top, top guys, because he is one of them as well. He's one of those just top echelon guys, really loses to anyone else. So we're getting into the, the big throws now. Obviously, he's got a big Sudigoshi. And this one here looks a bit familiar, don't you think? We'll have one more look at it before I just play another clip that kind of looks really similar to this one. It's definitely something he does and knows how to do. Yes, it's this one, guys. Here it is. Pretty much the same technique. And this one, I mean, they should have given it Epon, in my opinion. Picked him up, rolled him over, over his back patch. It was beautiful. And you have a look in slow motion. Tasuyev does everything right because he's done this numerous times before. He knows exactly what to do. Watch the sleeve that he has pinned against Teddy Rainier. Teddy has no control over that hand whatsoever. Digs his legs really deep under Teddy's hips. And it was just great control all around. Huge Sode Surikomigoshi now. How often do you see a plus 100 guy do this kind of technique? And this one, I mean, you see this a little bit these days from the heavyweights, especially Kim from Korea. Oh, nice, Kataguruma. It must be so hard to do at these heavyweights. And I really do think if you're doing a Kataguruma and you're a plus 100 judoka, I think you've been doing judo for a long time. You maybe weren't this big when you were a child, but you did that technique and it's just kind of stayed with you all this time. Nice Mikey Komi here. Much younger Tasuev in this footage here. Lost the beard. Or rather he's grown the beard in recent times. I like the beard. Make, makes him look much better. Makes him look more ferocious, no? Here's that Tsurigoshi that he's really good at. You can see some glimpses of it here in this clip, but could easily turn into an Uchimata. And yes, he does have an Uchimata. We're going to see that in the next clip. A nice Uchimata. Actually, I think I've got two clips for you guys of Tasuev's Uchimata. Here, taking double lapel, changes to the sleeve grip now, and then goes for it. Enough to score Ippon. Might not be his best technique, but still, another technique that he has in the arsenal. A lot of forward pressure, kind of forcing the action here, waiting for something, and then goes for it. So here's another Uchimata off that kind of Tsurigoshi grip. This time on the inside, around the belt. And this is throwing Tushis Philly. So you got the footage. But you can see it's kind of a Tsurigoshi and then using the leg to control him on the way over. Against Yusupov again. Lovely counter that he does. So against Tasuev, I mean... You can't be dishing out Ashiwaza, he's gonna counter you. And Ashiwaza, I mean, it's the key to judo, it gets people moving, especially the heavier weights. You really need to start using your Ashiwaza. Saito, he'll either have a really good time against Tasuev or a really bad time. This now was now, I mean, it's quick. We'll have another look. Goes for the Sode, and then jumps on the arm. It is now was now, so he can attack that elbow. And I would love to know what you call that technique. It's definitely not a juji. Is it Hiji Gatame? Let's go with that. And this one here, this is a quick Shime Waza. And I've got another one for you. Don't blink or you miss it. So he's got the Ashiwaza, he's got the big throws. And then capitalizing on these kind of situations for the Newaza. That was a quick tap. And this one here, last one for you guys here. Big, huge Uranage. Should be at the beginning of the video, to be honest. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for liking and subscribing to the videos. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.